Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If I could offer one piece of advice to the training staff of both of these teams, I'd have the ice baths ready. This is going to be a hard-hitting game. There will be bruises and slobber knockers and snot bubbles at every turn. If you like hitting, you're about to see plenty of it. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff and he got all of this one great kick he's to the 20 they'll bring him down at the 28 yard line so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field After a decent run up the gut. From their own 34 yard line. Second down. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. 34 to fight. 34 to fight. Let's go. 394. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle made to the 43-yard line. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Caught with room to work. He's taken down at the 48. see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So the call on the field will be reversed. From the 42-yard line, second down. Fires 
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. Converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's head to Morgantown. And for West Virginia, they've won two straight. West Virginia finishes at 24 20. In other action, we take you down to Durham. There was never any room to breathe in this game. The Wildcats win it by three. Thanks, Reese. 7 0 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 31. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 39. That makes, that makes it second, second and two. two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Man, two. No. Three, eight. Warren gets a carry left side. He's at midfield. The 10. He's pushed out of bounds at the three-yard line. Well, it's a first down here, and I love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or at times running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hands. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. The Vandals are looking for some new players to step up this season, Herbie. And, you know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 69-yard drive, and the result, seven points. We get a tie game at 7-7. Idaho is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Throw to the back, it's incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. From their own 28 yard line, second down. Slings it. And he's taken down right around the 40. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 43. Second and seven. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Oh, 
and he had some steam on that throw. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. to that quickly. They'll bring him down at the 33. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result was a new set of downs. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. He sails it long. Missed him. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just missed fire. Looks left, finding his tailback. Good tackle there in space. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they get nice yardage on that run. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. Makes his way out to about the 12. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. At the 16-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. It's the 11th play of the drive. Got a man. He can't complete the play. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Auburn is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Cox looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Go four! Three eight! Here's the give. Knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Offense. That's frustrating for a coach when Still you preach ahead. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. So first down once again, but a long ways to go after that penalty. He's under some heat. He's wrapped up for the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game, he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Dumps it out left to the running back. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's on the run. He's at the 40. And he tackles him hard at the 35. That's a game of 13 on the way. That makes it first and 10. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Taylor only gets about a yard there on the draw. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Pratty drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Fires it out. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Idaho! as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. And he hits the PAT. An eight play, 65 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. It's just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So our score 14 10. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Let's go! Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down around the 27-yard line. Justice picks up about four yards with the catch. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. Four. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball in 34. Five wide. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Throws and it's incomplete. Third down and they need to get it to the 24. taken down at the 17 yard line to get good yards here on the screen pass the running back needs to have patience and that was on display right here he waited for his blockers and picked up good yards and this is the eighth play of the drive they hand it off nice gain as he works to the right side that'll bring up second and three A receiver and he dropped it here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away and here's another third down brought down after a nice run up the middle Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And that one's incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. That brings up a second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. Fires quickly to the tight end, touchdown. to go up by three they'll kick the extra point he makes the PAT a 12 play 76 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard Brad I love these kind of drives they're old school grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense Auburn ready to kick this one off He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Idaho's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this through the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, They've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. And he's got it. Touchdown, Vandals. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. the extra point. Idaho to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. Well, it's one thing to have speed, 
It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. From their own 27-yard line, second down. We've seen quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. The Vandals lead it by four. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're gonna wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Vandals are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for them. We're about set to start things up again. Idaho holds a four-point lead. He's to the 40. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and 10. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Black five. They'll knock him down for a loss. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He scrambled. They'll bring him down right around the 50. That's a deal on the play. First down. From midfield. First down. Easy, easy. And he has it on the corner. He's tackled at the 40. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That'll make it second and inches. Brought down at the 27 yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 27 yard line. tries to buy some time and he is drilled at the 16 that's good for the yards that makes it first and 10 Idaho is up by 4 zips it to the tight end touchdown Idaho For Frazier, that's his third touchdown pass of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Have a look at the action in Piscataway. And for Kansas, they've dropped two straight. The Scarlet Knights win it, 38-16. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Number Bennett, 18. get set to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. And he's tackled at the 24. And Frazier's consistency throughout this game really cementing his star status right now. Kirk, this is what we expected of him in two or three quarters. He's producing. Well, we knew coming into this game, as you said, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country. And how can you not be impressed by what we've seen up to this point? I mean, he's making good decisions with football, getting his teammates involved in the offense. But most importantly, he's not putting his team in any kind of bad situation. He just seems to be managing the game and not letting this game manage him. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He steps out around the 33-yard line. at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Throws in the middle, and he hits him hard at the 49. Under pressure. And they make the stop at the 45. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. by the tailback. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Dowdell awaits the snap. Didn't get all of that one. He drops it. Room around the corner. And they push him out at the 23-yard line. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Throws a bullet. And it's caught. And they finally knock him out at the 49 yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. From the 49-yard line, first down. Caught, open field, tackle made at about the 45. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw.
So at the end of three, the Vandals lead it 28-17. into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action he's going to air it long a lot of emotion over there with the coaching staff on the sideline the defense did their job they've got a lot of confidence that their offense can come back and take the lead He's got a chance to put the defense in great position. They can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. out here and he tackles him hard at the 23. From their own 23 yard line. Second down. That's a great tackle at the 20 yard line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Roberts is the deep man awaiting the return. And he can't hang on to the ball. Signals for a fair catch. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. He's scrambling. Ball is loose. Fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He's at the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at the 16-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. about the 13. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete, he stopped immediately. Jones picks up seven yards with that catch. The Tigers are going to call their second time out. He's on the run, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And 
and he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he hauls that one in. And down he goes to the 36-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Spikes the ball. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws it in a hurry. He's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. 34 is the fight. 34 is the fight. Run, 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 run. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Up and goes down. That's a loss of six yards. Easy, 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 easy. Check three, check three, check three. The spike will stop the clock. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He lets it go. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First and 10. Ball in 34. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He throws a dart to the left. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And they're looking to get two points here. The 37-yard line. Auburn's usually a very stout team on defense, but they're not living up to the clippings in this one, Herbie. Where's the swagger? Where's the attitude? Where's the emotion that we're used to seeing from these guys? Right now, they're back on their heels, almost looking confused. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Nice run there. Taylor picks up about four yards on the play. Auburn will take their last time out. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Four. 
He's at the 20. Touchdown! Huge play! He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We have less than a minute to go. They'll bring him down at the 39. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Zips it left. Got it. To the 20. And he finally steps out at the 19. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Let's it fly. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. You'll go down to one knee. And that's going to do it for a very entertaining shootout. Idaho, 42, Auburn, 32. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.